Okay, um, we're going to factor numerous expressions in this assignment. It's four problems in the back. Now, they're not, you're not doing the same thing on every problem like some of the other assignments. It's not the same procedure. So you're factoring. That means you're going to put it in as many parentheses as you possibly can. That's what factoring means. Okay, so now what I do, I have negative 7x to the second plus 49x. So we have negative 7x to the second, 49x. That's two terms, okay? So that is a binomial, two terms. Or you can just put two terms. Either put two terms or binomial. When you have two terms, the boxes we want to set up are the GCF, okay? And then we want to see if we have a difference of perfect squares. This is what we did in the last assignment. But it's not, you're not doing this on every problem. D O P S question mark. And if it is, we make two parentheses with a plus and a minus. Okay, so you check your last term for a variable and it's there. So you take the x there. You check your first term for the negative symbol, and it's there. So you factor out a negative, then in between the negative and the x, you look up 7 and 49. So here's 7, here's 49, they're both in 7 row. Okay. So we go up and divide by negative 7x, since that's the GCF. The x's will cancel there, but not here. Negative 7 divided by negative 7 is 1 x to the second power divided by x is always x. A positive 49 divided by a negative 7 is a negative 7, so you put minus 7. Okay. Now, take that GCF over here, so now we can cross it out, and then see if that's a difference of perfect squares. So we have the minus. Okay. 1 in front of x can be deleted. Now, x is to the second power, or, or excuse me, x is not to the second power. So, this is a no. So, you put no, and you just put the parentheses of x minus 7 alongside it. That's your answer. Okay. So, that is a no. Okay, my next problem, x to the second power minus 12x plus 27. So, now... That is three terms, so it is a trinomial, or you can just write three terms, whatever you're comfortable. Either write that or this, whatever you'd like better. If you're not good with all the terms, that's trinomial. We do GCF, then we set up the T table with the ABC. Now, do I have an X on the last number? I don't. Do I have a negative in front? No, I don't. 1, 12, and 27. 1, 12, and 27 are only going to be in the first row. So if all you can put there is a 1 without a negative, without an X, you're not going to do that. Okay. So I'm not going to be putting a 1 there. That's stupid. Okay. A, B, C. So I take 1 times 27, and that's 27. Since it is a positive... That's a match, okay? It's a match, so I put two of the same sign. You can put negative, negative, or positive, positive, and then add to negative 12, okay? So I take 27 and start dividing. I'm finding two factors of 27 that I have to add to negative 12, and I know the signs that have to match, okay? So 27 divided by 1. Now, some of, you, some of you are saying, oh, you need a calculator. No, I'm showing people how it works. 127. I'm going to add those, and I don't think that's negative 12. Okay, pretty sure it's not. So, no. Cross it out, set up the signs, and move on. 27 divided by 2, decimal. Skip it. 27 divided by 3 is 9. So, 3, 9. Negative 3 plus negative 9 is negative 12. Okay, so we found it. Now make sure they add to negative 12. They do. Okay, negative 12. Now always know what your A is. Go find the A label. It's 1x to the second power. Okay.
Okay, so I'm going to make a minus 3, a minus 9. x to the second power, that's x times x. Don't put second powers in the parentheses. Now the 1, well that can only be 1 times 1, okay? Now really those aren't, you're not going to be able to do anything with those, okay? I mean 1 and 3 can be divided by 1, that's all that it could be by. So you can divide it by 1 or just leave it the same, okay? Same thing's going on here. Now, if I end up with a 1 in front of the x's, you'll see me deleting it. So I just put those parentheses over here. x minus 3, x minus 9. Okay, next problem. 5x to the second power minus 7x minus 6. So again, it's another trinomial. That's all you're going to see in this packet is buy, no, buy and try. Either write trinomial or three terms. So it's GCF, and then the big table again, just like on the last problem. Okay, now, do I have a letter on that term? I don't. Do I have a negative in front? I don't. Five, seven, six, those are only going to turn up in the first row, so it would be one. Okay. Okay, so if the GCF's 1, I'm not going to bother, so I'm not going to line a 1 up. That's pointless. A, B, C. Now, if it's a 2, you would do it. Okay, positive 5 times negative 6 is negative 30. So we got a negative 30. That means this is the factors have to mismatch. So on a mismatch, you just put positive, negative. Okay. And then write what you're going to have to add the factors to. You're going to have to add the factors to negative 7. So I start dividing 30. 30 divided by 1 is 30. So 1 plus negative 30 is not negative 7. 30 divided by 2, that would be 15. 2 plus negative 15. Yeah, I don't think so. 30 divided by 3, 3, 10. Add those, I think that's got some potential. Got it, negative 7. And it's negative just like I want it. Remember, if you have the right number but the wrong sign, you just switch the signs over. Okay, now always know what your A is. Your A is 5x to the second power. So when I make my parentheses, I put the plus 3 and the minus 10. So I start with 5, or no, go with your x, x, and then since a is 5, we're going to apply a 5 in front of those. Now 5 and 3, okay, 5 and 3 are only in the first row. So if you divide by 1, they're really, you can divide by 1 if you want, it'll just end up the same, okay. And then 5 and 10, well, those are together in the fifth row. So divide by 5, and that's going to end up being 1x minus 2. Okay? So that's what I have. So I have 5x plus 3. And then you can put the 1, or you don't really have to, x minus 2. Now you can always check your work on the trinomials at the end by taking, don't circle this, but... This times this, these two should equal what the a is. 5x times x should be 5x to the second. And then this times this should equal the c. 3 times negative 2, negative 6. If it doesn't, we did something wrong. So that's the answer. Okay, negative 2x to the second plus 32. I'm back to a binomial. And that's two terms. So two terms, oh, we're doing GCF, but then we're not going to make the T table. We're going to check for something else. We're going to check and see if we have a difference of perfect squares. Dobbs, difference of perfect squares. So GCF, check your last term in the binomial. There's no variable. First term in the binomial, there's a negative, so I need to see a negative. Then 2 and 32. 2, da, 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 32, so it would be 2. 
So put that in parentheses, and if you're pulling that out, you go up and divide it. What you're doing on a GCF is just the opposite of the distributed property. Now notice I'm not doing an X, because there's no X here to divide from. It doesn't make any sense to put X on the bottom if you don't have it on top. So that's going to be positive 1, and the X would remain to the second power. Okay. Positive 32 divided by negative 2 is negative 16. So if it's negative, you express that as minus 16. So I place my GCF here, and before I go to the next one, get rid of that, because this is what we're looking for for the DOPS. So we have the minus, the subtraction signs there. Okay, take that 1 off. Okay, you don't need the one. If that's a four, you got to deal with it. But a one multiplier of one on a variable, I don't need to. So x to the second, you bet that's perfect square because you write that as x times x. Now jump over the minus, and that's the diagonal. Sixteen's here. That's four and four. Remember, perfect squares are these numbers. So x x. 4, 4. So you put those parentheses right alongside your negative 2. And I need to see the negative 2. Okay. Just remember the whole point of factoring is write as many parentheses as you can. Okay. X to the second power minus 36. So I'm thinking that's two terms again. So binomial. Or you can just write two terms. So GCF. And then I see if I have a difference of perfect squares. <clears throat> okay, do you have an x there? Nope. You got a negative in front? Nope. 1 and 36 would just be a 1. So if all I can put in the GCF is 1 with no negative, with no x, get it out. Okay. So DOPS, you're jump going up to the original. So you got the minus. Now you really don't want to mess with the 1. Okay, It'd be 1 times 1, but that's pointless to put. x to the second is x times x. And 36. And there's 36. That'd be 6 times 6. Okay, so that's it. x, x, 6, 6. Now since I crossed the GCF box out, I just line up the x plus 6 times the x minus 6. Okay, next problem. x to the second power plus 4x minus 32. This is a trinomial. If you don't like writing those words out, just write that it has three terms. So three terms is GCF and then the table. you have x on the variable in the last term? You don't. Do you have a negative on the first term? You don't. Then 1, 4, and 32. They'll only be in one row. Okay. So get out of there. Okay. So A, B, C. 1 times negative 32 is negative 32. Okay. Positive times a negative is a negative. So that's a mismatch. signs in as they go. And we're adding to try to get to positive 4. Okay, so I divide 32 by 1, it's 32. 1 plus negative 32, that's not what I'm looking for. 32 divided by 2 is 16, so 2, 16. That'd be negative 14. I need positive 4. 32 divided by 3 is decimal. Okay. Now take 32 divided by 4. 4 and 8. Okay. 4 plus negative 8. That's the right number, but it's the wrong sign, which is okay. So I'll just make it plus 8 and negative 32. Okay. Okay, so my A up there on top is 1x to the second, okay? So you put your minus 4, your plus 8, and then x to the second is xx, and then we'll just apply the 1 there, okay? Now this isn't going to be able to really change because 1 and 4 is just in 1's row. You can divide by 1, but it just stays the same. 
Okay, if you want to divide by one, do it if that helps. Okay, and that's going to stay the same. Prefer to get rid of those. Okay, so it'd be x minus four, x plus eight. Now again, you can always check. X times X should equal the A, and it does, because X times X is X to the second. The 1 is just applied in front of it. Negative 4 times positive 8 should be negative 32, and it is. Okay, last 2. 12x to the second power minus 5x minus 2, so it's a trinomial again. Okay, so GCF. And then the table. Well, I didn't make that tall enough, but hopefully I don't need to. Okay. So there's no variable, there's no negative. 12, 5, and 2. So there's 2. No, it'd just be an up in one row. So if all you put out there is a 1, you just. not worth it. ABC 12 times negative 2. Be negative 24. Okay. okay. So it's a mismatch, and it is a positive times a negative. So we're adding to get to negative 5. So 24 divided by 1 is 24 at no way. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 2 plus negative 12 is negative 10. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So 3 and 8. I think we found it and it's the right sign too. See the whole point of them being opposite because we know they add to negative 5. They also multiply. That times that's negative 24. Now, your A is 12x to the power of 2. So, plus 3 minus 8. So, I go 12x, or at, put the x's first, then place your 12. It's not going to stay 12. 12 and 3. So, 3, 12, that'd be in row 3. So, that'd become 4x plus 1. 12 and 8, those are both in the fourth row. Okay, now place them, 4x plus 1, 3x minus 2. Now you can always check your answer on a factoring trinomial. 4x times 3x should be the 12x to the second it is. Then 1 times negative 2 should be the negative 2. Okay. Now if you're wondering what about the 5x, well if you take the 4x times negative 2 here, you could take 4 times negative 2 plus 1 times 3. That's the, because you know, 4 times negative 2, 1 times 3, and it's negative 5. Okay, so it all works out. Okay, last one. 4x is second plus 16x. Now you're back to a binomial. So it's two terms. So that's GCF, and then you see if you have a difference of perfect squares. Put a question mark there, because as we saw in an earlier problem, there's a chance where it's no. The okay, so you have the variable, you don't have the negative, and then four coefficients, four multiply, the x multiply, the 4 and 16, here's 4, 16, so 4. Okay, so I'm going to go do this. Cancel those x's there. 4 divided by 4 is 1. x to the second divided by x is x. 16 divided by 4 is 4. Okay. Now, place that GCF right there so when you go to the next step, you're not looking at it. I don't have a minus sign, okay, so it can't be. It's a no, okay. So then over here you just put 1x plus 4. 
That's all the parentheses you can make. 4x, x plus 4. If you have it at 1 in front of an x, you want to probably cross it off. I don't care if it's 